All right, so Karen and I have decided to come back to Huang Shan. Uh, we were here last, uh, about a, oh, just over a week ago, I guess. Then we went to the Gobi Desert, and we've come back because, uh, well, the weather was supposed to be quite miserable in uh, Guilin, but it looks like the weather is not much better here right now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping that it'll, it'll clear up a little bit. Uh, we've decided to go up a different cable car this time. There's, there's three separate cable cars up the mountain and then there's a, 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 a number of different hotels to stay at. So we're going to stay in a different hotel each night and, uh, and do day hikes from the hotels and, and see if we can get different views. It's supposed to uh, clear up uh, the next couple of days, but you know we're in the mountains, so it, it really, you know, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, down here it's just beautiful because there's uh, bamboo forests and we've got the fog. It's very much like British Columbia, actually. So I'm hoping that it'll be like this up there, but I, I suspect it'll just be socked right in. Anyway, just going to go and uh, get our tickets and uh, and head up the mountain. Okay, so if you're planning on uh, coming to uh, Wang Shan, uh, just be prepared that uh, to get to the hotels you have to walk to them, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stairs involved uh, to the whole area. Um, I mean, it's a great way to get exercise, but just just so you know, there's some really steep sections, lots of stairs. Uh, that's the only way in here. You can get carried in if <laughs> if you wanted to but you you have to pay quite a bit of money to do that uh, I don't think I'm gonna get carried in on this trip <laughs> to the hotel what we have to realize is as everything in these hotels uh, is carried up by hand and this particular hotel has I, I can't believe they actually carry this up I'll just show you what it is so it took 20 guys <laughs> to, to carry a grand piano <laughs> up to this hotel uh, just incredible Well, our first morning was a dramatic one. So the rain did finally stop overnight, but by the morning the wind was just howling and uh, it was really quite something to see with the clouds swirling all around the peaks here and uh, taking photographs of these peaks with clouds swirling around them, it was, it was almost like a, a sporting event. Uh, the, the, the conditions were changing so fast that uh, I was just kept taking shot after shot. Now this shot here was quite hard to take. Not only were the conditions changing uh, continually, but I also had uh, a huge amount of contrast from the bright, bright areas to the, the deep shadows. 
Uh, even though it was really dramatic, I was shooting into the sun. So I had a bit of a hard time processing this one because the shadows are just so dark. And of course, we have those bright, bright clouds. So I think I did a reasonably good job. Uh, it was certainly dramatic, that's for sure. And then as the day progressed, the weather kind of got worse and worse again. So we spent most of our time wandering around, waiting for the clouds to clear. And then every now and then we'd, we'd go to a lookout. We'd come across a little peak. So we'd wait and wait. And then just as we were about to pack up, it would reveal itself again. So I took another couple of shots and waited another 10 minutes and, and so on and so forth. So the first day, even though the morning was really dramatic, the evening wasn't quite as productive. crowds this is probably not the place to come and I'll show you why <laughs> and this is a this isn't a busy day this is a slow day so you imagine what it's like here in the summer it's the way it is I guess <laughs> Now, to be fair, the crowds weren't as bad as I made out. And in all honesty, the crowds in this area are no different than, say, crowds at a national park in, in Canada or uh, the United States. Uh, Banff and Jasper, especially these days, is just getting overrun with tourists and photographers. So uh, it seems to be a worldwide uh, epidemic now, as far as the weather goes, it stayed like this pretty much the whole time that we were there for the, the three nights and four days. We had these uh, really cloudy days and then it would kind of disperse a little bit and then it would cloud over again. So it made for really interesting uh, photography. And to be honest, I really liked the unpredictable nature of the weather. So uh, you'd get these bursts of, of light coming through. So it was really quite interesting. external mic with me but uh, it's been cloudy and misty all day and uh, just about to give up for the evening and uh, so I've got up a little bit higher and, and the, the conditions are just absolutely spectacular you can see the peak behind me here uh, revealing itself that's Lotus Peak and uh, I managed to get a few shots of that and then in front of me here the clouds are just swirling around and around and uh, there's layers of, of peaks in front of me. So every now and then I'll take a shot as soon as I can see them all. It's just absolutely spectacular. And then way over here, I haven't gone over there yet, but the clouds are just moving in and out of all these pinnacles. I mean, there's just photographs all around me. I don't, I don't know where to start. So I've been taking some... Uh, video of this section here, a few photographs, video and photographs of here, and uh, I'm going to run over over here now and see if I can get something over here, but yeah, it's just a, a brilliant evening.
Once again, our short visit to Huangshan was just fantastic. This trip was quite different than the first one in that we went to some very different areas, a lot more craggy peaks on this visit. And of course, the weather was quite different. Uh, no snow or frost this time, but a lot of wind and a lot of cloud. So I got some different images. I'll let you be the judge of whether I got some great images or not. But I will say that our last day was probably the best. And I didn't take any video uh, footage because I was concentrating on just trying to capture the light. So I'll leave you with the photographs that I took uh, that evening. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm.